good. Now, do I care about these little tiny divots? They're like just really shallow holes. Actually, some of them are nothing. They're just cosmetic. But some of them, yeah, they have a little dip that you can feel. I don't know. Maybe I'll fix that later. Oh, and this was my bad side that I stupidly made much, uh, much lumpier. Well, let's get to it. Ah, uh, just do it. Come on. Do it. Get it done and over with. Then we can move on. Good night, moon. I need to make some kind of arms that come off these and will attach to these. Oh, that's looking good. So I'll need some kind of attachers on the top of here. I don't know what yet. I do have a few more pieces of this stainless steel pipe. I could just fiberglass them in there. I'm not sure what will hold these in yet. Something pretty simple, maybe just like a bolt through the middle. Figure that out after I make some arms. Alright, what do I have to make arms? Oh yeah, I wish I had enough of that. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Wow, that is very convenient. Jamie, how do you get your steel pipes so shiny and perfect? Alright, in a very rough nutshell, if this is the front view of the boat, this is my pipes. I want to make these pontoon holders kind of like this. Triangle shaped. And then this will have to come out here. And I mostly want space in the middle so wind can blow through. And it'll attach to the pontoon out here somewhere. Now, if I make this out of pipes, you know, I'd wrap it with fiberglass so it's strong. Um, That'll be great, except it'll be very rigid. Like it won't be able to rotate that way, flex. And there may come situations where there are waves, I mean, obviously this is gonna end up happening, where there are waves and the pontoons are gonna be pushed up and down like this, and the boat is gonna flex a little, and everything's gonna be flexing except these. So I wanna make these flexible. So they'll be rigid in terms of up and down, and I'll lock them in place in terms of moving forward and backwards. But I do want them to be able to flex twisting a little bit. So not pipes, maybe L-channel. Probably, yeah, probably L-channel. So roughly like this, where we got a cylinder, cylinder, cylinder. And then this is a back wall with an overhang part, so that's an L. And then down here is an L again. This piece of stuff is roughly how wide the roof is going to be. That looks pretty good. It'll be somewhere up there. That'll stick out to there. I definitely want the pontoons to stick out past the edge of the roof. This is just going to come down to personal preference. 
this thing is strong enough that I could put like a meter long lever on it and it won't break. Yeah. Check the front one. Yeah, those are tough. So I could definitely put a long lever on. And the nice thing about a long lever is since these are going to swing in and out, you know, I'll be able to put them anywhere. I can put the pontoons anywhere between their farthest in and their, or the farthest out and the farthest in. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Make them like three feet long. Put them way out there. All right, now what about the height? The water level can't go below here or else the rear propeller is going to be sucking air. So, like, like 11 inches from the thing up there. And that's roughly horizontal. You know, I think that, I think the pontoons can be attached pretty much level with this. Line this up with my little pieces of tape here. Oh crap, what was that? No, that should be there. Yeah, like that. Then it should be about right. Yeah. I need to find a, some kind of thing that fits in here. That looks about right. I got all those parts waxed, so I'm gonna let that dry. And I think while that's drying, I'm going to attach this. That was just a piece of stainless steel scrap I bent into the shape and it looks pretty good. I used the rest of a can of spray foam to plug up the hole so it doesn't get water in before I fiberglass over it. Now that is one unsinkable pontoon. Sweet. Alright, that's number two. Now tomorrow I need to remember to reverse this. That way to make the two for the other side. Now hopefully these match pretty well. As you know, it's a little bit hard to get this perfectly lined up the way it's supposed to be because I don't have it like held in really. I just kind of put it there and I left some marks, but they could be off. I got these guys covered with an extra layer of fiberglass on the top too, since it was only two layers thick. And I put some extra over the hole where I stuffed all the styrofoam in there. So this should all be airtight now, totally sealed and stuffed with styrofoam. So that should be uh, pretty unsinkable. I had to cut this one and spread it a little and re-fiberglass over in a couple spots to get it to match that one. Those things look excellent. Yeah, 
nice and strong. I could pick up a whole boat with that, no problem.